Hey everyone, Matthew Laborde here with the latest installment of The Pulse, a weekly update of the commercial real estate market in East Baton Rouge. All right, let's get started. So we'll start with the commercial sales recorded last week. Um, there were a few interesting ones. One of them, and the first one being the laser tag facility off of South Sherwood Forest, sold for $1.95 million to Parkview Baptist Church. Well, uh, what are they going to do with it? I don't believe they publicly announced it yet, so I'm going to hold off on saying anything. However, they're going to announce soon. So, And I think it's probably not going to be laser tag, but that would be cool. All right. Next up, with the retail sales, we had 508 South Foster, yet another jack-in-the-box sold to yet another California-based investor. All right, 1.76 million. This is the jack-in-the-box at the corner of Government Street and South Foster Drive. Industrial sales. So we put this in the industrial sale category. They, that's because their uh, recent history has been for industrial service uh, type uses. Um, but this building at 1440 Government Street was, this front part was originally a hotel back in the day. And uh, 1419 Julia Street was, I think it was Pearl Beer facility. Uh, but I've been in both of these buildings and they are really cool. They've got some unique history uh, and some uh, character and elements that it's going to be really neat redevelopments. So that's why I'm glad that the buyer of these properties is Mr. Anthony Kimball. So Anthony, if you don't know him already, he is doing some great redevelopment projects in that downtown east, mid-city west uh, area, and uh, it's in no better hands. So he's going to redevelop both of these properties in due time, and uh, they're going to be some exciting uses. So stay on the lookout for that. Specialty sales, we had one Blue Ridge ASL Academy uh, purchased a facility near Goodwood Boulevard and Airline. Um, and no office sales recorded last week. No multifamily sales recorded last week. Upcoming planning and zoning commission cases, the one you've all been waiting for, the EBR pedestrian and bicycle master plan is coming up at the next Planning and Zoning Commission meeting, so stay tuned. Also, we have this rezoning off of Plank Road. Now, where a lot of the insider information is, right, the real scoop in the pulse, is in this uh, commercial permits issued last week. You can find out who's moving where, who's opening, who's expanding, who's renovating, uh, whatever's going on, right? If you're a vendor in the commercial real estate world, you definitely want to review these each week just to have a finger on the pulse of what's going on and what potential business might be out there. All right, uh, so check this out. If you aren't already subscribed to The Pulse, do that now. Email the pulse at elephantrealty.com or go to elephantrealty.com and sign up there. Recent content from Elephant. So this is interesting. Uh, shout out to our friends Three Roll Estate. Who, has, who have historically, they have historically distilled uh, a rum and made rum. And uh, now they are uh, expanding or pivoting or uh, refocusing for the moment to hand sanitizer, right? So we uh, were thankfully hooked up to Three Roll Estate, uh, by Three Roll Estate with hand sanitizer, getting ready for the stay at home order to be lifted, thank God, after May 5th. Uh, next week so we are loaded up with hand sanitizer and congrats to Three Roll Estate and thanks to Three Roll Estate for keeping us clean healthy safe may you stay clean healthy state and safe out there and have a wonderful week and make the most of it